Welcome back to The Morning After. I'm Josh Myers, and you are much better looking than your eHarmony profile. It's time for your water cooler survival guide. Number three, it was confirmed yesterday that Angry Birds will be the first app which will be adapted into a TV or web series. Your move, tip calculator. Number two, some shame ons. Shame on Mariah Carey for appearing on Extreme Makeover and not singing once. Shame on Miley Cyrus for appearing in this TMZ video. Less for smoking weed and more for letting some cash-grabbing frenemy take this video. What did kids do before salvia? Oh, their homework. And shame on whoever built the Metrodome roof. You just made the Vikings have to play in Detroit. Look at me, Detroit. And finally, number one, the Windows Phone 7 has just been released. Just go with it. The WP7, as we're sure no one will end up calling it, boasts a never-before-seen integration between Microsoft Office and a mobile platform. Early adopters, get ready to explain this to all your iPhone-using friends and to have none of them care. Now moving on to our next segment, Love It, Hate It, where we go through some hot, pressing issues going on in the entertainment world and tell you whether or not we love it or we hate it. Number one, Sofia Vergara won an NAACP Image Award. I hate it. She's Colombian. Last time I checked, NAACP stands for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, a name that makes me very uncomfortable even saying. However, I went to their website. There are four images. When you scroll through them, there is one Latina woman, one Asian man, and 48 African Americans. Now, it might surprise you to learn this, but I'm a white guy. But on behalf of all black people, I hate this. Sofia Vergara, talented, funny woman. Emmy? Sure, why not? NAACP Image Award? No thanks. I hate it. <laughs> Moving on. Kiefer Sutherland is returning to TV in a Fox drama pilot, Touch. I love it! Although, really, I love this because I hope in this show Kiefer has to interrogate people, but he just touches them gently to get any of the information that he needs. Maybe a little brush of the hair out of someone's face, gentle stroke of the ear, perhaps merely a careless whisper. I also hope that Kiefer's name will still be Jack Bauer, and that even though we never actually see him to go to the bathroom, it's very obvious in every scene that he desperately needs to go to the bathroom. Kiefer, touch, I love it. Next up, Glee creator Ryan Murphy has implied that the sh he might start graduating some original cast members out of the show as early as next season. I hate it. Come on, Murphy. You know what I love about those high school girls? I get older, they stay the same age. All right, all right, all right. You're watching The Morning After. I don't have any regrets. You?